Hey guys, it's Jim again. Uh, finally, I'm ready to do this shave I've been wanting to do for weeks. Uh, got some coated stainless steel gem blades in the mail today from Conat Shaving, or Suffolk Shaving, Conat Shaving, regardless. It took them a while to get here from the UK, I think a week or two, so I had to wait to use this. This is a uh, gem. It's a clog proof. And it says it right underneath. Well, anyway. Let me double check. I got a lot of razors. Yeah, gem. Micromatic clog proof. I don't know why I brain farted on that. The blades load in nice and easy like that. Have a fresh blade loaded because I just got it in the mail today. And then you twist to open and twist to. Oh, let me double check the alignment. Twist to close. And there's a nice little peg there right in the middle. I don't know if you can see that, but it, it's sticking right up there out of the base plate of the head. And it holds that blade side to side in perfect alignment. And then it closes like that, and there's a nice little, see this little thing right here? It retracts when you open it, but when you close it, you can see it's just barely protruding, and it keeps the lid from popping open. So it's a nice, tight, little razor. Cleaned it up. It's got that vintage steampunk look to it. First time shaving with a clog proof, or with a, I think a micromatic for that matter. I've shaved with a couple gems, uh, Ever Ready's, and... Uh, like a G bar and a featherweight, but this is my first shape of the micromatic. So I'm going as a general rule. I when I'm trying something new, I don't try more than one thing new at one time. Now, granted, I am trying this razor for the first time with blades I've never tried. That's I guess could be considered a no-no, but. I am going with a soap that I know performs and I expect it to protect me if this single edge razor is a little rough. Sterling Frozen Tundra Mentholated Sterling Soap. So let me wet my head and my face and my throat. And get going with the shave. I have pre lathered to try to cut down on video length. So, oh, and I am loading this up with, again, a brush I know. The Magger synthetic large, it's got a pretty large knot, it's like a 24, 25 millimeter knot. Very, very similar to the. Razor Rock Monster. Practically indistinguishable. Which means it's a pretty solid synthetic knot and affordable. Not cheap, affordable. It's got this nice stone pattern granite handle. They call it granite. So I call it the Maggard granite synthetic knot. But I call it the granite for lack of a better term. <clears throat> Of course, you can see the soap lathers up nice. I overload, load it like you hate it, because where do you want to err on the side of caution? I'd rather I spend a couple extra cents, pennies, on soap, as opposed to having a substandard lather. I'd rather waste a little soap and come out on the other side with an insufficient, underperforming lather. especially trying a new razor. I don't want to have anything else be at fault. If it's the razor, if it's my technique, whew, chili soap, chili willy. It's over a 90 degrees today here in the high desert in Southern California in the Mojave Desert. So, pull out my sterling menthols 
you're going to see some uh, good menthol shaves from me here. Menthol soaps, mentholated aftershaves, especially in the heat. It is a welcome, welcome treat to shave with a mentholated soap in this heat. And get my cheeks. You don't really need thick lather with this sterling. It is crazy slick. And I usually only do one or two passes on my cheeks anyway, so. I've got one little hair. It seems to be out of place on that knot. Maybe it's just me. Okay, and I have been watching some videos. So I'm going to be trying to work on my technique as far as using the SE, using a Micromatic. Uh, I also watched Scott Ostermiller's video the other day when he shaved his uh, head with the Micromatic. I think he used the open comb though, but uh, it should be quite similar. So thank you, Scott. Hopefully your tips will come in handy. barely any feedback on my upper cheeks, mostly because I don't have a lot of growth there. And some of you probably noticed I trimmed my beard down mostly because it's getting hot. This feels very similar to a G-Bar. Just in the feel. I'm wet my cheeks. That might be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. Okay, let's get this throat. Again, I'm following the rules. Nice, easy. Very light. Little to no pressure. If I could barely touch the skin, just enough to get those whiskers. That's what I would be aiming for, as far as pressure goes. And then, yeah, I don't know why it's called a clog proof. That might just be a gimmick. But as you can see, there's a bar there. But the bar does have some texturing to it. There's little grooves. I'm trying to keep the head as flat as I can against my skin while still bringing that the blade edge into effect. Oh, this menthol is strong on my noggin. So far, I'm pretty impressed with this. Who knows? can feel a blade though. <clears throat> I'm just going to liven up this lather on my head just in case. 
Now, I'm going to do what Scott did and go south-north with this. I've been shaving my head for a while. I think as long as I keep the blade angle true, shouldn't have a problem. Sometimes I've had bad experiences with SEs as far as uh, trying to get that angle on my head. So I'm going to go south-north to try to get it on as many flat surfaces as I can. Sure, you can hear that. I need. I'm gonna use the mirror. I need the mirror. Get under my ear, or on top of my ear, I should say. going for a BBS today. I'm just going for a nice, close, comfortable shave. I do not want to push it with a new razor, a new experience, something that is considered about as close to a straight razor shave as you can get while still using a safety razor. just using the weight of the razor here. I'm not pushing at all if I can help it. Let me get this side. Sorry if you can't see this very well. So far, quite happy. Sorry if I'm jumping around a little bit, but sometimes I do that. I was thinking about getting behind my ear and I ended up shaving the back of my neck. Get above the ear. Finish this up. So far, I am enjoying this razor and these, I gotta say, these coated Ted Pella blades, these stainless steel blades, are the best SE blades I've used.
Yes, very nice. Very nice. Quite smooth on the head. But I'm a little concerned about the back. Hopefully this will turn out well. I got a nick. I don't even know where. Got a little one right there. No, I got a little one right there. Huh. Okay, let me try to clean up the back. Part of the problem with using a menthol soap, especially a strong menthol soap, is that quite often when you nick yourself, you don't feel it. If it's just a little nick, hard to feel. Well, I'm going to try to get a little closer on my throat. But man, that head shave, quite happy. Whew. I mean, you're hearing squeak, squeak, squeak. Not much whisker, there's a little, I can stand to clean that right there, just because of the way my hair grows. But man, just one pass against the grain, holy crap. There's like a little bit that I could stand to get right there in a little bit. But you know what? I'm done. I'm done. Let me check. Okay, I see that neck. I got a little neck right here. Right there. But I suspect a little swipe with the alum will clean that right up. Let me hit it with some alum. Oh, I gotta rinse that bowl. I trust one of my trusty salsa bowls. Great little bowls. You don't want to fill up your sink, have it all gross with whiskers. Good salsa ball. They work very well for, you know, dipping, dipping brushes, swishing your razor. They work really well. I suppose it would work for dipping the alum in, but uh, uh, no, I'd rather just. Give it a wet under the sink running tap. I'm not a complete germaphobe, but that's a little much. Dipping my alum in the bowl I rinse my razor in. This I just can't really stomach that idea. Man, that was a very, very, very good shave. I am impressed with this Micromatic, especially against the grain, right away. Oh, no, no alum on my throat. I'm going to hit it again. Try to do a couple cleanup passes on my throat, because I just went with the grain. Mostly. Let me freshen up this brush. Pull some of the lather out. Sometimes if you want to pull lather out of the knot, but you don't want to squeeze it, just pull it alongside the edge of the bowl. If you're using a lathering bowl, and you can pull a good bit of lather right out of it. See that on the edges? I'm going to dip it. Dip it just to freshen up this lather and hit my throat again. Did I alum my throat? I hope I didn't. 
it just felt so good, the shave. Especially my head. I don't know if I'm feeling alum on my throat or menthol. We'll find out. Ooh, look at that lather. That's sterling for you. Get a nice layer of paint it on there. Paint it, paint it. I still got plenty. Okay, I'm gonna go. Uh, first time, I'm gonna push it south or north south. Not directly against the grain, but close. Going at this angle like this kind of a, like that, helps me get closer on my right side because my right side can tend to be a little bit more sensitive. There's one little swirly spot in my beard that I tend to nick myself. And I prefer not to today. it up one more time. Yeah, we could get a little closer. So I'm going to go, I'm not going to go against the grain. I'm going to go from here down towards my Adam's apple, center line. And that usually gets it plenty close. So, I'm going to need the mirror. I can't do this by feel, like I could with like a tech. I just don't have the confidence. Oh, and by the way, in case you were wondering, yes, this razor smells like a wet penny. <laughs> but it shaves better than I would suspect any wet penny would. residual slickness from the sterling, so you really don't have to worry about this. Whew. Good. Darn. Shit. I could get a little closer. I could, but I'm not going to push it. Not the first time with this razor. No way. Let me rinse out and clean off, and we'll do some aftershave stuff. I'll be right back. Okay. I rinsed. Did a little alum on my throat. No nicks. The couple nicks I had on my head, the alum closed them right up. I'm going to follow my shave with some Thayer's medicated super hazel with aloe. Just for a little extra soothing menthol action to follow the ice tundra. And I do not have a matching aftershave with the ice tundra. So what I'm gonna be chasing this with is just some old classic aftershave. Let me wet my hands off. Because I did put a, I put a few drops of glycerin in that Thayer's just to give it a little bit of more protection. Because it's the uh, 
It's not the alcohol-free toner. It's a standard witch hazel, so it's got a bit of alcohol in it. But I'm going to follow this shave with some Aqua Velva Ice Blue. Or Ice Sport, I should say. Not Ice Blue. Ice Sport. Overall, I am very happy with that Micromatic. I am not disappointed in that shave at all. Granted, I used a knot I'm very comfortable with. Maggard, uh, granite, synthetic knot. And I used a soap I am very familiar and comfortable with. Rod soap base is incredible. You just gotta look for scents, whether or not you like menthol and so forth. Sterling, frozen tundra. Outstanding soap, great value. And I chased it with a little bit of alum, Bayer's Medicated Super Hazel, and Aqua Velva Ice Sport. Great, affordable aftershave. You can probably find it at the grocery store, or whatever. So, Micromatic. This is a great razor. I bought these blades uh, from uh, a UK site, Conot Shaving. And, uh, I'm impressed. One pass against the grain, and I'm almost BBS on my head. It was just, I've never had an efficient, a, a shave that efficient with as few speed bumps, little, little weepers. Outstanding. I had three little, I think three little weepers to speak of once, once over with the alum, and they were done. So, yeah. And these Ted Pella blades, these coated stainless steel gem blades are outstanding. So if you're curious about an SE and you want to go, you want to kind of get away from the gem razors and look at something else, like or the uh, Ever Readies, uh, or the like the G bars and the more the more prolific ones, uh, this Micromatic, check them out. Check them out. I know the bullet is considered a little bit heavier, but also mild compared to the open comb. But, man, great shave. I'm going to use it. I'm going to love this razor, I can tell. Plus, I've got 200 gem blades to go through. But the girls like single-edge razors, so they'll probably help me use them up. So, have a good night, and I hope you all have good shaves. And uh, until next time.